In this video, uh, I'm going to show you how you can safely update uh, elements in your application uh, using ElementRef and something called Renderer. So I've just got an example application up on the screen now. All this is is just a blank default uh, Ionic application, uh, but I've also generated uh, a component and it's just the, the default component that gets generated. So uh, I've just created something called test here and it's just got the default this.text equals hello world, and it's just a simple template. And so what we're going to do is make some kind of modification to that uh, using element ref. And so first I want to show you the, the wrong way to do that, and then I'll show you the proper way to do it. Now I don't want to get too much into what element ref is exactly, but basically it's a, a reference that Angular provides to a specific DOM element. So we can get that through uh, the component. So if we have a, a component like this here, I can get a reference to the actual element for that component uh, by using element ref. So if I import element ref, and then I can add it to the constructor here, I'll inject that as element. And so now I'm going to be able to access the actual DOM element for this component through element ref. Now this isn't the only way to do that. You could also get an element reference uh, through uh, view child, for example, uh, but we'll just focus on this for now. So to demonstrate what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the, uh, the ng after view uh, init hook into here. So this will run after the view is initialized. So we can just run some whatever code we want in here. This is kind of like ion view did load. And so if I just log out that element that we are setting up as an element ref, we can see what we have to work with. So I'll, I'll add that console.log statement there, and then we'll jump back into the browser and see uh, what happens. And so you can see the element ref has been logged out here. And then inside of that element ref, we have the native element, and that is the actual DOM element reference. And so if you look in here, you'll see things that, um, these aren't Angular specific things anymore, this is just the actual properties on the DOM element itself. Uh, so we'll have things like the offset top, the client width and client height. And we can also access uh, all the styles through here. So we'll see if we open uh, the styles property there, we have all the different styles that apply to this DOM element. Now, since we have access to those styles now, we could easily modify them uh, using our code in here. So what I might want to do in this component, for example, is I might want to change, say, the, uh, the background color to something else. So what I could do, and I'm placing emphasis on the could because this isn't what you should do, but I'm going to show you anyway. Uh, we could, say, do this dot element dot native element uh, dot style, and then we could access the background color property. And we could set that to equal, uh, we'll make it black is um, 0, 0, 0. So we'll save that and we'll let the application refresh here. And we can't actually see the color here yet because this isn't a, a block level element. So we're actually going to have to jump into here and add another style using the same method again. And we'll just set the display to block. And then we should be able to see uh, that background color there. Okay, so now we can see we have a, a black background on our element here. Uh, so clearly uh, that works. We can interact with these uh, directly with that DOM element there. We can modify whatever properties we want, uh, but this isn't the correct way uh, to do it using element ref directly like this. And the reason for that is that we're working with this in a way that is specific to the browser. And so the whole, not the whole point of Angular, but a big thing in Angular is the fact that it is, or it can be platform agnostic. Uh, so what that means is that it doesn't have to run on the web through a browser. You could have an Angular application that works in an entirely different uh, environment. But if we start doing stuff like this, where we are specifically using uh, browser things, if we use uh, syntax and terminology that is specific to the browser, then that is going to reduce that adaptability. And that's why it's best to avoid doing things like using document.getElementById, which works, but it's not really the Angular way to do it. So instead, what we can do is use something called uh, Renderer. And it's basically the exact same idea. It doesn't really complicate things at all, uh, but it's going to perform that change in a way that is platform agnostic, meaning it's not going to matter if it's uh, running on a browser or some other platform. So in order to use uh, the Renderer, all we need to do is import that from Angular Core, and then we also just inject that into the constructor as well. 
And then the difference down here is that, well, first we're going to uh, comment out this stuff. And instead of uh, directly accessing the style property on the element reference, uh, we'll instead do this dot renderer and we'll call a method on the renderer. There's uh, many of these, but one in particular is set element style. And then we just need to supply that with the native element. Uh, so we can do this dot element dot native element. That's the thing that we want to modify. And uh, then we just say the style that we want to change here. And in this case, we want to do background color. And we want to set that to black. And we want to do the same with the uh, display property. So I'll just copy that. We'll change this to display and this to block. And so now if I save that, we should hopefully see the same result. Okay, you can see that we have uh, the same black box that we had before, except now we're no longer accessing those properties uh, directly uh, as the browser would expect us to interact with them. Uh, but instead we're using this generic uh, renderer.setElement style. And there are other methods available besides set element style. Uh, I've just got the documentation up for uh, the renderer here. And you'll see on here we have the set element style somewhere in here. There it is. Uh, so that expects a render element, uh, the style name you want to modify, and the value. Uh, but we also have things like set element class. You can invoke uh, methods on that DOM element. You can change its text with set text. And there's some other stuff you can do here as well. Uh, so basically, you use the renderer in place of directly manipulating uh, the DOM properties. You would instead use the renderer to do that for you. And that's going to make your application more, uh, more adaptable and more uh, angular. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.